Hey guys, today's video is going to be a quick overview of Divide Colorado and all the things there are to do out here, places to shop, places to eat, and proximity to some of the bigger areas also. Hope you guys enjoy this video. Hey guys, really quick before we get into the meat of this video, I just wanted to say really fast, if you haven't done so already, number one, make sure you hit that subscribe button and that notification bell down below. We put at least two videos out a week and I want you to stay updated on all the new videos we have coming out about the area so that way you can stay in tune to what's happening, things to do, and check out all the cool stuff out here. Also, I wanted to say, if you've got any questions whatsoever, please do not hesitate to call us at our team number, 719-266-2725. You could also email us at info at jdmret.net, and we will get back to you as quickly as possible. And that's any questions with anything whatsoever, uh, whether it's real estate related or just coming out here to visit or moving to this area, anything you've got question-wise, or even if you've got something else that you want to uh, just mention that might be a great video uh, to be able to do that you haven't seen yet, please, 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 please reach out. Uh, you can either call that number at 719-266-2725 or shoot us that email at info at jdmret.net or you can also post a comment in the messages below and we will absolutely get back to you as quickly as possible to answer all those. We serve as this area, we live in this area, and we represent this area. We love working here. So hope you guys enjoy this video. All right, guys, today we're talking about Divide Colorado in general, uh, just some general terms and general places to, to check out here. Uh, Divide is in the area code 80814. Within Colorado, it's just west. It's actually the town just west of Woodland Park off of Highway 24. Uh, when you're heading down towards uh, Colorado Springs, you take 24 to get all the way down there from Divide. And you're looking at probably about 40, 45 minutes to get down to most places within that I-25 corridor in the primary areas of Colorado Springs from Divide. Um, and, uh, and we're just going to kind of go over just a brief overview to kind of orientate you to Divide itself and what Divide has to offer um, and some things that we like about Divide. Now, first of all, I just want to point out, I live in Divide. I love Divide. I'm not an agent coming out here talking about it that lives in Denver or Colorado Springs or somewhere else. I live out here, I'm a local, and I absolutely love being out here in Divide. My reasons for liking Divide are um, I'm still close enough to Woodland Park to be able to get to any of the major uh, shopping areas for like shopping for food or Walmart, uh, where most of our restaurants are. Um, and I'm also still close enough to be able to access Colorado Springs. When my wife and I moved out here and we moved to Divide, we were still, I was still in the military, so I needed to be able to commute down to uh, Fort Carson, and that was not a hard thing to do at all from Divide, and I love the drive up and down the pass. It's just gorgeous, um, and rarely are you going very slow on that drive as well. But Divide as a whole, um, with that area code 80814, it goes south down into 67, it goes north of the 67 and 24 intersection, um, and then it goes just barely on Highway 24, just a little bit further west than that Highway uh, 24 and Highway 67 intersection right there also before you get into technically what is considered fluorescent with the zip codes and with the way the post offices are. The primary focal point of Divide is the intersection that I keep referring to with the traffic light on it with Highway 24 and uh, State Highway 67 that goes down all the way to Cripple Creek. Um, and we've got lots of different atmospheres and different areas out here in Divide too. If you're up there in that area that's got the uh, the traffic lights, uh, there's two traffic lights total in the town of Divide. Uh, it's the one on Highway 67 and 24, and there's this one that's half a mile east of that on Highway 24 as well, um, which is where one of the gas stations are there in Divide also. But Divide is a cool place. So you've got basically the top of Divide, which is where those intersections are, where it's really kind of barren from trees. Um, and that's where you can get a lot of wind. There's a lot of gorgeous views up there. Certain parts of that, you can see the collegiates all the way out to the west. You can see the terrials out there. You can get great, just spectacular views of Pikes Peak as well but tends to be a little bit windier also. And then you've got other areas that kind of goes down. You can get into some trees, some aspens, some pines, uh, and some really pretty areas. We've got a state park out here called Mueller State Park. It is a gorgeous state park um, that you can do horseback riding on. They've got hiking trails. 
the elk herd, the Pikes Peak elk herd, uh, will actually calve their babies out there as well in the, in the summertime. So that's a really cool thing to check out. And it's not uncommon to see elk crossing the road on Highway 67 right there, uh, east to west or west to east. Uh, that's very, very common to be able to see up there as well. On the north side of Divide is where the majority of the housing is. Up there, we got a lot of communities up there as well as a lot of spectacular ATV and side-by-side -side trails. In the summertime, in fact, Divide is a very hot spot for a lot of campers to come out with their RVs, or their, with, their, uh, with their trailers, their fifth wheels, and their OHVs, their off-highway vehicles, to go out and just enjoy those trails. There's miles and miles and miles of trails out there in the North Divide area. And in the summertime, you will see tons of folks pouring into the North Divide area to go into the National Forest to camp and enjoy all that outdoor recreation on Friday and on Sundays you typically see them all coming back out of there to head back down to the Springs or to Denver. So we have lots and lots of folks that come out and do that consistently all the time. Lots of great hunting out here as well. Like I said, we've got the massive elk herd that's out here as well as mule deer and turkey and bear and mountain lions, all kinds of different wildlife that are out here as well. Now divide as a whole is generally right around 9,000 feet in altitude. Uh, so it's one of the higher towns to be in within Teller County uh, for sure. And it's really kind of unique too, because we've got all these different little mountain climates uh, that are out here. But Divide typically is a little bit more moisture and a lot more green than Florissant. Florissant looks a little bit more deserty, almost like high altitude desert. Lots of pines, not a whole lot of grass in it. You see a lot of decomposing granite. Divide's got a lot more grass. We've got beautiful wildflowers that pop up here in the spring and summertime as well. Some gorgeous, gorgeous hiking that's out here all also, as far as shopping is concerned, in Divide at the intersection of 67 and 24, uh, we do have Venture Foods, uh, which is a smaller grocery store. Great place if you just need a quick stop to grab something very quickly. It's not as small as a convenience store, uh, it is, it, but it's not as big as like a Walmart or a City Market or Safeway or anything like that that's down in the Wilton Park area. But you can typically find almost everything you need within there. They've got an amazing little deli area there where they cook. Uh, different types of food and stuff at each day. Uh, they got some awesome pot pies that'll come in there. Fried chicken is, is spectacular in there as well. Uh, but a really nice little little tiny uh, supermarket right there for you to be able to get all your basic needs and necessities out of there. We have our own post office there in Divide as well uh, that's all centered around the intersection. A little health center uh, that's there also. And then we have a couple restaurants up in there too. We've got McGinty's, uh, um, the uh, Irish wood oven stove, or what? I, it's McGinty's. I always screw up the wood oven part, but it's McGinty's wood oven, I think is what it is. But it's almost, you got a pub side, then you got a restaurant side. Been there for a very long time. Really good food. They've got pizzas in there. They've also got Irish style food. Um, uh, fish and chips is amazing on Fridays and Saturdays. Uh, and they've got clam chowder that comes with that. They got a beer cheese soup. Really, really cool place to check out too. And then you've got a nice little local dive. It's right there too, Russ's place, um, which serves lots of burgers and chicken fingers. They've got beer, uh, really, really cool little local uh, dive that's sitting right there as well. And then we also have Paradox Brewery. That's, that's all centered around this little section right there in Divide as well. Paradox is recently, and I have not been in since I've done this, so I can't really kind of give you an idea of exactly what they have, but I definitely want to go in and check them out. But they've started to have their own kitchen out there. They used to have a food truck out there all the time, but now I hear they're cooking their own food, and I hear it's really, really good in there too. They also specialize in sour beers, so a really cool craft brewery uh, that's right there too. So that's all centered right there in Divide. We've got two gas stations. There as well, we've got a feed store um, that's in there also where you can get hay and feed for your animals um, out there as well, um, and a little storage facility out there too. Also, our county sheriff's department is right there in Divide also. Uh, got a really cool facility down there. We also have T-Crest that's close by, so the Tele County uh, rescue animal shelter um, that's down there as well. Um, so lots of really cool things. I mean, Divide's a really small area, but it's there's a lot of stuff kind of going on in that area um, also. So as far as like drive times, 
down to different places. Uh, Woodland Park is only about a five or 10 minute drive. Really depends on where you are in Nevada. If you're further out on one of those outskirts on the north or south side, it might take you 10 or 15 minutes to get down to Woodland Park. But Woodland Park is going to have the majority of your necessities right there. It's going to have your Walmart. Your, it's a super Walmart. So you got the supermarket side and the regular Walmart side. Safeway, City Market is going to be down there. We've got lots of different bars and uh, restaurants that are right there in Woodland Park too that are really easy to access. Another small mountain community, not as small as Divide, but still that nice small mountain town feel. And then if you want to continue all the way down the pass, all the way down to Colorado Springs, like I said, you're typically about 45 minutes away from most things. That's where your Lowe's are going to be, your Costco's, your Home Depot's, all that fun stuff that's down there too. But Woodland Park is even closer. We've got a Foxworth that's got a lumber yard in it. Um, and then we also have the uh, hardware store for all your hardware needs as well. So if you just need a quicker fix. So a lot of folks, I think, kind of get a little nervous about looking at Divide when they look at the distance between that and Colorado Springs. But really what you need to think about is drive time because most of Highway 24, except for when you're going through Woodland Park, it drops on a 30. Most of it's anywhere between 55 and 60 miles an hour from Divide all the way down to Colorado Springs, Manitou Springs and all those areas. So really, really a uh, neat place to live. Uh, it's still central enough to be able to access everything that you need to do on a day-to-day -day or a weekly or a monthly basis, but you get the awesome feel of being up here in the mountains and the enjoyment of a lot of that too. So Divide is a really, really neat place. Um, definitely something to, to check out if you're just coming out here to visit. Check out some of the places I was talking about. If you're coming out here to look at a place to live, uh, you can find things from all price ranges uh, from about upper 400s to five. Sometimes you'll find stuff below that, but it's usually needs a lot of work on there, but upper 400s to 500s, all the way up to the millions um, with everything from small, tiny little pieces of land that might be a half an acre to land that's hundreds of acres um, that are out there as well. So we've got the gambit for everybody out here as well. Um, and uh, yeah, I hope you guys see this video and are encouraged to come out and at least give Divide a try and check them out and hope you guys really enjoyed this. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed that video. And I just want to say again, really quick before you send off the page, make sure you hit that subscription button and that notification bell down below. Uh, that keeps you updated with all the new videos that we got coming out each week. And also, if you got any questions whatsoever for us, we are local uh, experts of these areas and we are local uh, real estate agents within these areas. And we love helping people out. We got people calling us all the time uh, for these, but please just call us 719-266-2725 or you can email us at info at jdmret.net. And we look forward to hearing from you and seeing you next time.